Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick lesson on how to draw landscape paintings with Cliquey, which is a drawing program. It's free and um, it's just a quick digital lesson for art teachers and art students. Just got to figure out how to move that guy over there. There we go. All right. So I'm in my art classroom at school right now between classes and I just wanted to get this ready for students and teachers to see what it is. Clicky is a great free drawing program. Um, it's a great way to learn kind of the basics of Photoshop and how it works. So just going to try out, I'm going to use this brush tool called, I call it sketchy or it's called sketchy. And we're going to start with a darker color down low and we're going to paint and I already forgot I do it totally different I actually used this brush with a darker I'm going to start with a green and just fill up the bottom with a dark green And then go a little bit lighter. Next layer. This is just a basic how to do landscapes. Nothing too complicated. You can make your brush a little smaller, go a little bit lighter. So that's going to be our ground and then we're going to make the sky a color which I'm going to go a super light green and I'm going to use the paint bucket tool which is up here. Go a little bit lighter than that even. So then we have this kind of quick landscape. If you want to add a little bit of yellow to your landscape, that's fine too. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. So now you go back with the sketchy brush right here and I pick the color that and this is where the sketchy brush is awesome because it just does things it makes it look sort of 3d it blends everything in that's the sketchy brush magic landscape tool and then you're going to use the paint dropper tool there. Same thing down here. And this is just one of those lessons where when you need something quick to do and you want to work on landscape painting, it really does help you learn a little bit about landscape painting. I mean, if you look at any of the basic landscape painters, it's all the foreground is, is going to be darker. Um, and then usually it's going to stay in the same color palette. And you can start to experiment and do some different things as you get better at it. It's not the end of the world, but it's a great place to start. You can kind of see how the sketchy brush tool does some funky cool things there. Cool. Just wanted to show that. My name is Todd Norman. I'm an art teacher in Michigan. Hope you have a great day.